Hello folks, Rob Dreemeyer here. Welcome to Broadway Bar Fly. If you're a theater fan who loves a great cocktail, click that subscribe button because Broadway Bar Fly is the channel for you. In our previous video, we talked about the apple tree and we made an apple martini. I hope you had a chance to enjoy both the video and the cocktail. While I was preparing that video, I came across another cocktail that was very much on topic and that's a cocktail called the Garden of Eden. And of course, the first act of the apple tree is the Diary of Adam and Eve. There are in fact several cocktails out there that call themselves the Garden of Eden, but I was particularly drawn to this one because it uses elderflower liqueur. And best I can tell, this particular drink was created to promote a particular brand of elderflower liqueur. If you've never had it before, it's a liqueur made from elderflowers, <laughs> as you might expect. It has a floral sort of bouquet, but it also has what I might identify as some citrus and herbal qualities as well. I happen to have a bottle on hand because some time ago I made a cocktail called the Pomplemousse. I didn't make it in a Broadway bar fly video, though maybe in the future I will. Pomplemousse is the French word for grapefruit, and that cocktail is a gin-based drink that used the elderflower liqueur with grapefruit juice. I served it one day to some friends who were here for brunch in place of mimosas or screwdrivers, and you can see by how little I have left that it was quite a hit. So I'm happy now to have another cocktail that I can make using the elderflower liqueur. This is a little bit of a labor-intensive drink to make, but in the end I think you're going to find that it's worth it. To make our Garden of Eden cocktail, we need gin, and I'm using Hendrix again because of its lighter flavor, the elderflower liqueur, apple juice. I'm using what they sometimes call cloudy apple juice, which is basically apple juice that's not from concentrate, lime juice, and some mint leaves. So we start with our tin, and we add a small bunch of mint leaves, you know, maybe three or four to your taste, and a half an ounce of lime juice. And we're going to give this a little bit of a muddle. We don't want to pulverize the leaves, but just break them up a little bit to release the oils. Then to this, we are going to add two ounces of our gin. Two ounces of our apple juice. and a half an ounce of the elderflower liqueur. Now we're just going to put this aside for a minute because we have to prepare our glass, and this is maybe the labor-intensive part. What you need to do first is make a garnish, and what you need is a big, long peel of apple. I'm not going to do this on camera for you because it's kind of tedious and it took me a couple times to get right. But in the end, what you want is a nice big long peel of apple like this. And if you're using apple, you want to make sure to soak your pieces in lemon juice to keep them from turning brown. So we put the tail of our peel in the glass, and we start to add our ice. And then what we do is we just snake, wink, wink, our apple peel around the edge of the glass. And take your time, this is a little bit tedious, but you know, it takes a little finessing, but in the end what you want is the apple peel around the edge of the glass. And the only thing really is to not break the peel so it's all in one piece. And there you can see I finally have the apple peel uh, snaked around the inside of the glass. That's going to be our serpent in the Garden of Eden. So we come back to the drink that we put together and we add it to our shaker of ice and we give this a really good shake. And we are going to double strain this into our glass, one to hold back the ice and then again to catch any of the mint pieces so they're not really floating around in our glass. And finally, we will garnish this with a piece of lime, 
a piece of apple. And finally, oops, a nice big sprig of mint. And there you have a Garden of Eden cocktail. Who can resist that temptation? <laughs> Cheers. If you enjoyed the video, why not give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends? Feel free to leave your comments and click that subscribe button because there's a lot more Broadway Barfly to come.